This is Adi Sharma Solutions, Class 11, Chapter 29, Limits. Exercise is 29.8. Here we have question number 33. And the question is, limit x tends to pi by 2. We have pi by 2 minus x and tan x into tan x. So, what do we do here? x is tending to pi by 2. So, we will take x as pi by 2 plus h or minus h. So, pi by 2 minus h we take. Now, when x is pi by 2 minus h and x is tending to pi by 2, h is tending to 0 because x, if you replace x means uh, take x on this side, h is going to be 0. So, limit h tends to 0 pi by 2 minus x. So, pi by 2 minus x will be pi by 2 minus h. So, pi by 2 minus pi by 2 minus h. And then we have 10. So, 10 x in place of x we are writing pi by 2 minus h. So, this is pi by 2 minus pi by 2 plus h. So, pi by 2 pi by 2 gets cancelled. h only will remain. And what about this one? 10. 10 90 minus theta is cot theta. 10 pi by 2 minus h is cot h. Now, cot h can be written as 1 by 10 h because cot theta is 1 by 10 theta, tan theta is 1 by cot theta. So, cot theta is 1 by tan theta. So, put it here like this h by tan h. This is limit h tends to 0. So, you know that limit tan theta by theta, theta tends to 0 is 1. So, theta is tending to 0. So, this is going to be 1. 1 is the answer. Okay. Question number 34 here. 1 minus 1 by x by sin pi x minus 1. So, we have this. Uh, let me let me just solve for 1 minus 1 by x. Then you will see it is x minus 1 by x. What does it mean? You have x minus 1 divided by x and denominator you have sin pi in x minus 1. Sin pi x minus 1. So, pi x minus 1 is together. Now, we have multiple x minus 1. So, let us let us replace it. Limit is x tending to 1. Limit x is tending to 1. So, x minus 1 is y. Let us take x minus 1 is y or t whichever alphabet you want to take. So, this will be sin pi y x will be what? Uh, y plus 1. 1 will go on the right hand side. So, you can write y plus 1 here. Now, this limit is because since we have replaced y by x minus 1 or x minus 1 by y, y is tending to 0 here. So, you have sin pi. So, you just have a pi here and divide by pi. This uh, theta sin theta by theta and this is going to be 1. And what about this one? This is 1 by pi. Okay, only 1 by pi will come. Limit if we apply. This is question number 35. 1 plus cos x by 10 square x. Limit is extending to pi. So, we will replace x by pi plus h. So, we have 1 plus cos pi plus h. And then we have 10 square pi plus h, 10 square pi plus h. So, if you see add sugar to coffee or all school to college, this is this is a pi, where is pi? 180 degree. So, this is pi, pi plus h, tan will be positive, others will be negative. So, cos will be negative. 1 minus cos h it will be and 10 square pi plus h is 10 square h. So, you can write 10 square h. 1 minus cos h is 2 sin square h by 2 and this 10 square h, 10 square h. So, this 10 square h by h square multiply divide for h square and since we need h square for sin also, so let us divide by 4 multiply by 4 because we need h by 2 whole square. So, this whole sin square h by 2 and h by 2 whole square this is going to be 1 if we apply, apply the limit. And this also becomes 1, 10h by h whole square. 
So only two by four will remain when we apply the limit. H is tending to zero. So if H tended, if this H is tending to zero, means X is H pi per plus H. H is tending to zero. Only one by two will remain. Question number thirty-six. Cot X by pi by two minus X. So just put X as pi by two minus H. Just replace X by pi by two minus H. So you have cot pi by two minus H in place of pi by two minus X. Let me do it here only. Pi by two minus pi by two minus H. So there is pi by two minus pi by two plus H. You'll get pi by two pi by two gets cancelled. H will be there. Now cos theta minus theta is sine theta. Should be sine. Means tan h. Now cot is cot it is not cos. Okay, just I'll just replace it. So this tan h by h and you know what tan h by h is what it is going to be what. This is question number thirty-seven. And here we have under root cos x minus under root sin x by x minus pi by four. So rationalize uh, the numerator. So you have root cos x. Plus root sin x root cos x plus root sin x numerator denominator you multiply. Now this is a minus b this is a plus b. So a plus b a minus b a square minus b square. So only cos x minus sin x will remain. So numerator we have cos x minus sin x. What what is in the denominator you have under root cos x plus under root sin x. And then we have x minus pi by four. This will be x minus pi by four. Okay. Now This x is tending to pi by four, so let's just put x as pi by four plus h. We are putting x as pi by four plus h. So how what do you get? Cos pi by four plus h minus sine pi by four plus h, and then we have x minus pi by four will be what? If we replace x by pi by four plus h, pi by four plus h minus pi by four. Only h will remain. So just have h here. What about this root cos? This will be cos pi by four plus h, and this is going to be plus sine pi by four plus h. So numerator I am taking. First let us take the numerator. So cos a cos b minus sine a sine b cos a plus b. So cos a cos b. Minus sine a sine b, so sine pi by four sine h, and this will be minus. This is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. You can write here minus sine a cos b minus cos a sine b, and a is pi by four in each case, and b is h. So wherever you have sine by four or cos by by four, just replace it by. One by root two, because sine pi by four cos pi by four is sine four forty five degree cos forty five degrees one by root two, one by root two cos h minus one by root two sine h, and minus one by root two cos h minus one by root two sine h. Okay, these two gets cancelled, and this will be because minus this one by root two cos h cancelled. So minus one by root two sine h and minus one by root two sine h will be minus two by root two sine h. So multiply root two root two numerator denominator. So denominator you have two. Here you have minus two and root two 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 gets cancelled. It will be minus minus root two minus root two sine h is what we get in the numerator. And h is already there, so just take this h here and apply the limit. So h tends to zero. Because x is tending to pi by four plus h, so limit h h will be tending to zero. So this sine h by h will be one. Okay, we have already used h now. Minus root two in the numerator. So there is only minus two remaining in the numerator. Others we have employed, and below denominator h also we have applied. So I'm just clearing everything because it's uh, there is some more solution left. Okay, so minus root two as I said, although minus sine h by h already I have taken. So minus root two will come. What about this denominator? You have the root cos pi by four plus h plus h. So I am applying the limit. H is zero. Just apply the limit. Cos 
under root cos pi by 4 plus 0 is cos pi by 4 and then we have under root sin pi by 4 because h is 0. So, under root sin pi by 4, right. This cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 and this is 1 by root 2 inside the root. So, it is a double root. Here also 1 by root 2 double root and you have minus root 2 in the numerator. It is there. So, let us take uh, this denominator. So, this is 2 1 by root 2. Denominator is twice of 1 by root 2 and numerator we have minus root 2. So, this uh, denominator if you see 1 by root of 1 by root 2. So, 1 by root 2 we can write it as 2 to the power half because root x is x to the power half. So, this is 2 to the power half and this is above that we have half. So, 1 by half into half is 1 by 2 to the power 4. So, 1 by 2 to the power 4 you are getting in the denominator. You can write it as 2 to the power minus 1 by 4. Okay. So, I am writing whole the term. You have 2 here, 2 to the power 1. You have 2 to the power minus 1 by 4. And numerator you have root 2. So, you can write it as 2 to the power 1 by 2. So, and negative is also there. So, take it up 2 to the power half, 2 to the power minus 1, 2 to the power plus 1 by 4. I am taking denominator to the numerator. So, you have half minus 1 and plus 1 by 4. Just add them. You will get minus 1 by minus 1 by 4. Okay, so this is going to no one minus half is half 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 uh, minus half one, half minus one is half minus half and one by four minus half is is going to be minus minus one by four two minus four is minus two by four minus one by four so finally you will get minus one two to the power minus one by four one by four and you have a negative so negative negative is the answer okay Min you can also write minus one by two to the power 1 by 4. Okay. Question number 38 here. 38. Uh, limit x tends to a. a sin x minus x sin a by a x square minus x a square. So, first of all, I will show it here only because it's, uh, it will take a long time. So, x is t uh, tending to a. So, we are just putting x as a plus h. What, are, what all we are doing? We are putting x as a plus h. So, when is when x, x a plus h, x a plus h, a plus h we have replaced. Now, x tends to a, h is tending to 0. So, a sin a plus h, just open it. That is a, the second term I am saying, a sin a and a, h sin a. And denominator a plus h whole square just expanded. And a plus h, a square, this also you multiply inside. You have a cube and a square h. So, what do you get? Just open it and you that you will get something cancelled. So this will be a cube, a cube minus a square h and for, for front row is this a cube plus uh, a h square plus 2 a square h. So, a cube a cube gets cancelled. So, you have a h square and 2 a square h minus a a square h. So, you will get a square h. So, a h square plus a square h will be the denominator. What is, what is the numerator? So, here we have a a common a sin a plus h minus a sin a. So, take a common from first two terms. So, sin c minus sin d a we have taken common. So, it is 2 cos a, a plus h plus a by 2 and sin a plus h minus a by 2. Okay. So, this is a. Now, 2 cos 2a plus h by 2 and a gets cancelled. So, sin h by 2 and minus h sin a and here you can take a h common you will get h plus a. a h h plus a. Okay. Now, we are separating them. There are two terms in the numerator and one in the denominator. You can have denominator with uh, separated. So, a to cos 2a plus h by 2 sin h by 2 and here you have a h h plus a. Okay. So, I am taking this one first then I will take the second part second part okay uh, we have 2a plus h by 2 so you have 2a plus h by 2 so why not to apply the limit directly because we are not going to get any problem because sin h by 2 is already there so let us take h by 2 so multiply 2 divide by 2 so i am taking these two h by 2 sin h by 2 and h by 2 this is going to be 1 this 2a 2a gets cancelled and you have cos 2a plus h by 2 and h by h by a 
So in, in place of h, just apply 0 because we are applying the limit here. So cos 2a by 2 is cos a and here also you will only get a, cos a by a. Okay. So here also you say 2 to cancel, 2a, 2a gets cancelled, only cos a by a will remain. So first term we have done. Now what, what will be after this negative? What are you going to get after the negative? Let us see. So cos a by a. Now coming to the second term that is minus h sin a by divided by a h h plus a. So h h gets cancelled and now you can just apply the limit sin a by a will remain but there this is constant. So here h z is 0 h is 0. So sin a by a by a so sin a by a square. So your cos a by a minus sin a by a square. This is the whole uh, you know we have got down to this one. Now take the calcium a square, you have a cos a minus sin a, this is the final answer. So you can do like this also, if you, uh, in this case you know, taking the calcium would, would be sometimes uh, somewhat tricky, so you can just multiply these two cos a into a square, sin a into a by a cube. Now you can take a common from the numerator, so a cos a minus sin a and divided by a cube. So one a you cancel. So you have a cos a minus a sin a, this, this final solution will come, okay. 39 question under root 2 plus under root 1 plus sin x by cos square x. So just multiply by rf first, rf. So plus sin and multiply numerator denominator. So 2 a square minus b square, so under root 2 we will be 2 and minus 1 plus sin x numerator. Now let it be like this. 2 minus uh, 1 uh, plus sin x will be 1 minus sin x, 1 minus sin x it will be. So this is denominator. Now so cos square x, this can cos square x and root 2 plus and root 1 plus sin x. Uh, this is this has come from the RF. So cos square x can be written as 1 minus sin square x. You can write cos square x as 1 minus sin square x, one, that is 1 square minus sin square x. That can be written as 1 minus sin x, 1 plus sin x, 1 minus sin x and 1 plus sin x. So it was in the numerator 1 minus sin x already, this was the numerator, so we can just cancel them, 1 plus sin x will remain. So we have 1 by 1 plus sin x, then we have uh, under root 2 plus under root 1 plus sin x. Now let us apply the limit, x is tending to pi by 2, so sin pi by 2 is 1, sin 90 is 1, sin 0 is 0, sin 90 is 1, so this is also 1. You have 1 by 2 here and for this, this is root 2, root 2, root 2 is 2 root 2. So 1 by 4 root 2 it will come. This is the answer. Next one is question number 40. So you have here limit extends to pi by 2, 10 to x by x minus pi by 2. And this is a NCRT question. So x minus pi by 2 just directly replace x by pi by 2 plus h, so x is tending to pi by 2 plus h, so h is tending to 0. So 10, 2 into pi by 2 plus h and divided by, I am doing it here, x, x is pi by 2 plus h, we have replaced it by pi by 2 plus h, plus h minus pi by 2, pi by 2, pi by 2 gets cancelled, you have h here, so now multiply inside, 10, and 2 into pi by 2 is pi plus 2 h, 10 180 plus theta, add sugar to coffee, it will remain as plus pi plus h. So 10 2 h divided by h, so you need to have a 2 denominator multiplied by 2, 10, 10 theta by theta, limit h tends to 0 is going to be 1, so only 2 will remain. So this is all about this exercise, thank you so much, take care of yourself.